All right, ladies. So my makeup's on except for my foundation and concealer, blush and lipstick. So I wanted to take you through this review on Lady Gaga's House Loves foundation. You have requested this. I want to do this for you. I am not big into celebrity products for multiple reasons. So I was a little apprehensive, but I've been asked more than once, twice, a dozen times. And I thought, you know what, let me do it. So it's $45. It is a relaunch. She had this line in 2019. It was an Amazon exclusive from what I read and she wanted to make clean beauty, but clean beauty where when you think of clean beauty, you think of like clean face and not a lot of pigment. She wanted it to be really bold and pigmented and really just really great for you, your skin, the planet. So I was like, okay, here, here we go. When you go into Sephora, you have Selena Gomez now that has a line. You have Rihanna, she has Fenty. You have Gwen Stefani has her line. And you have House Labs, which is Lady Gaga. Literally, that's how it is when I walk into my Sephora. That's why I know. I'm like, Selena Gomez and Fenty, this is why I'm like, I know the whole layout. I know exactly where everything is. And I just feel like, are they really passionate about skincare, makeup, and application? Or is it, oh, I have a fan base, I'm gonna slap my name on a product, I'm gonna make millions of dollars, and it's just gonna add to my net worth. I mean, what do you think? I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Like, do you think that the, do you think Selena Gomez is like, you know, ride or die, like cosmetics has been my passion? I mean, do you think that about Rihanna? Or what about Lady Gaga? Yes, they're entertainers, they get their makeup done every day, they're in it. But is it really their passion? Like they really like live, breathe and sleep their makeup line. I, I would love to know because that's something that crosses my mind. Like, why are we doing this? It's a very saturated market. Are we just doing this because we already have a name and we already have notoriety and we're gonna be doing it? I mean, Brad Pitt just came out with his his grooming line. And I was watching his interview and he seemed so disconnected. Like he, it almost was like, he was like, what am I doing? Like he wasn't even selling it himself. So I thought to myself, okay, Brad, I don't know if this was the, really the right thing for you to do. Like who's buying this? Like, have you ever done a cleansing routine? Like before you had your line, like what's going on? I want to tell you something before I get into the Lady Gaga foundation, because I did some research on her company in the marketing. And I just want you to know this ladies, like I, Forbes did this really great article. A woman wrote this in October of this year, 2022. I say this a lot when it comes to brands are just so not in tune with older women, more mature women, right? Hence why we have the Fierce Aging series, right? I want to feature older women because they are amazing. Age should be celebrated in our society, in our beauty industry. It is not. And listen, you can go over to my TikTok and I happen to have the, this viral video recently. It has like 1.6 million views. If you, I always know when, when my videos go viral, don't read the comments because it's offered to everybody and it's not like my people. So I went, I started reading it the other day and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, like you can't be serious. Like you serious, you'll feel so bad about yourself. And it, in the main thing, ladies, it's about my age about my hair, about how old I look. And like, oh my gosh, if she looks like that now, can you imagine what she's gonna look like when she's 70 or 80? And I have to laugh, cause it's kind of like, what is the problem? Like, I always go back to, like guys are not on other guys like accounts going, yo, Bob, your bald head looks so awful. You look so old. What are you doing with your life? Like men don't do that. Why do women feel the need to just lash out and rip each other apart about dumb stuff about their hair, about their, what, how old they are? I mean, it's just honestly, ladies, I have to laugh because I think it's so silly. It'll never stop me. It actually gives me more fire to keep showing up. It does the exact opposite for me. It's like, oh, all right, you want to play this game? Let me let me do some more stuff. Let me do some more videos that are going to really trigger people with my, my aging face. All right, so listen to this. This is so powerful. I'm going to link the article below this video because it's just so powerful. And the title is Six Facts About Middle-Aged Women Retailers Should no, we've been talking about this on my channel for years now. Retailers are just like in la la land. They're like, oh, the teenagers and the 20 year olds, and I'm going to just follow numbers. And I hope the numbers are, are not fake. And I'm going to just throw all my PR to them and all these free products, luxury, luxury. And the women that have the real power with the dollar are being left out. And this is what this article is saying. So it says, you think 15 trillion would be enough to buy a well-targeted promotion from a major retailer. 
but not always. Those trillions of dollars represent the combined spending power of women who are older than 50, according to Forbes. And considering that represents 27% of all consumer spending, you think this consumer group would be entering stores on the red carpet. Can you imagine if you went into Sephora and they had over 50 red carpet champagne being served. You have your own concierge. They show you around. They're like, oh, your skin, Sally, this is the perfect product. And this is a skincare. And you get this whole like treatment. And then if you are, you know, under 50, you're in this lane. And if you're, you know, like, but we get the red carpet champagne, like really, really catered to because of our spending power. I mean, it's kind of like if you went, went to the airport, you know, like you're like, oh, there's the red carpet. I'm going for it. But no, instead you walk in to a sea of product and no one wants to help you because it's like, oh, her skin, I don't know. She, I don't really know. I don't know what to do because these girls are so young. And that is a fact at Sephora. Not always though. I have seen some women that really are very helpful and are older that, that I usually gravitate towards. So instead, when it comes to brands engaging these female super consumers, many women feel invisible. Just five to 10% of marketing budgets are earmarked for 50 plus consumers, the Harvard Business Review has reported. As a result, 91% of boomer women feel ignored and misunderstood by marketers, according to research by Girl Power Marketing. This is just so incredible to me. I will leave you with the link below this video. You can read it. You can see the six points that they point out about how we are the driving force, but yet brands are totally missing the mark. So it's just not me saying it. It's actually in a Forbes article here and it's incredible. So I hope you read it. I hope you comment, tell me what you think. And then we will get into now the foundation review. So getting into the foundation, it comes in a beautiful bottle, one ounce made in Korea. This is a custom bottle. You can tell because they have like this whole DeBoss top looks gorgeous. I would have kept this silver, but that's me. But this is a frosted glass. And it says shake well before, but I always feel like you're not shaking. Very minimalistic box here with the color sticker that goes wraps around and you can't open it from the bottom. So which is really nice. So you know your product is secured. And let's go into a little, not a deep dive into the ingredients because you can go on their website and read it, but they have house tech powered innovation. We supercharge our artistry makeup with skin loving ingredients. So again, it's clean beauty, which is one of her big things. Patent pending fermented Arnica is in this foundation, 860% more potent than conventional Arnica, visibly reduces redness and irritation, helps even skin tone, protect skin from environmental stress. It has the BioFerment 7 complex also in here. It's a patent pending bioengineered antioxidant rich complex. And then they have the IntelliZen 7 complex, a proprietary blend of medicinal herbs that work synergistically to promote skin healing and calming. And they have marine algae extract, hyaluronic acid, prickly pear oil, plant squalene, peptides, vitamins A, C, and E, silver vine extract, mango seed extract, I could go on and on. So they're obviously very serious about this amazing foundation. So it's $45. And I was a little concerned about the 51 colors that they had when I was at Sephora. I did find it to be a little overwhelming. And oh, where do I start? How do I do this? Oh, no. And the lighting's a little bit different. But they do have on their website, you can go and do a little quiz and it'll tell you your foundation, the perfect color, and they also guarantee the perfect color. So that's also really cool. So we're gonna just go in and try this amazing foundation. I do feel that it's interesting that it's like techy and powered and has all these great ingredients. And I love the fact that it doesn't have sunscreen in it because you should be wearing a sunscreen prior. I know it's faster and I know it's easier, what have you, but you shouldn't be relying on your product to provide that SPF. You should be putting on an SPF on your skin first, and then you are applying your foundation, etc. So here we go. It's nice. It's medium coverage. So I'm really excited about that. I need some coverage today. So I'll just put it on first. Ooh, it feels very nice and hydrating. And it goes on really, you know, this is looks like it's uh, too warm for my skin. But look how it look how it goes into my skin, like really beautiful. It doesn't drag with the brush, you can use a sponge, you can use your fingers, it doesn't smell like anything. Again, it's clean beauty. So for all of you that are really sensitive, having issues with your skin, not able to have all of these different ingredients that a lot of products do have in them, at least you have something now that you can have a shade matcher, you can see if it matches your 
skin. And guess what, ladies? If you look at the campaign that she did, Lady Gaga, she has a bunch of different, a little inclusive collection of men and women in her PR ads. And one of them is Roxanne. And you might recognize Roxanne. She's a model, but I used her. I asked her if she would be my first woman that I interviewed on my Beauty Reinvented blog. And she said yes. So I was really honored. This is back in 2018. And she was on my blog to support my book that I wrote, Beauty Reinvented. And it was really exciting. I really, really loved it. So when I saw the, the advertisements and I saw Roxanne on here, I just thought, this is on her Instagram. I just thought, I love the power duo between the aging and Lady Gaga and wearing bold this. I mean, Roxanne has this really thick, full eyeliner on almost like it's just eyeshadow doing this whole winged out and Lady Gaga has her traditional like same kind of makeup. And I love the comparison. I love that it like synergistically works together. I love what it represents when we look at this. So when we see Lady Gaga 36 and then we see Roxanne, a mature woman, you know, demonstrating beauty because there, there is no border. There is no you have to fit into this. This shows that you don't have to fit into any kind of category. For Lady Gaga choosing to, and hopefully she was the one that chose these people to represent or, or to support her brand with her in this photo shoot, I love that because of just everything we just talked about, we should be included. If you're making this foundation and you're marketing it and saying it's for mature women, show mature women, show us in these ads so we can basically see someone and say, oh gosh, she looks good. I mean, there is no denying, like she, this is not filtered. She, she has beautiful fine lines and wrinkles. She has an aging face, which is beautiful. And that is what really is the call out for, for me when it comes to this whole brand and reviewing. I was very, ref it was very refreshing. And guess what? Look, I'm going right underneath where I would normally put like just peachy or concealer, medium coverage. I think I can get away with it today, ladies. All right, so you know I'm obviously very passionate about this whole topic and everything. This is a little NARS. This is their Behave, the ultimate multiple, just putting a little, just something to be just pretty on my cheeks, very soft. But you know, this is, this is a beautiful foundation. It's probably, I mean, we're at the end of the year. This is probably the most beautiful foundation that I have tried all year. And I, I really do love it. I love the message. I love the clean beauty. I love everything about it. And, and what's really surprising is it's a celebrity makeup and I would never, I would have never tried it if you didn't tell me to try it. Cause I'm just not, you know, that into it. This is Dolce Vita, one of my favorites from NARS. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Chanel. This is 712. This is like a gold, but it just gives it kind of like a little extra for my little look today. Then I'm gonna take a little NARS. I'm gonna do the translucent crystal and I'm going to just powder. I do feel that I need to powder this foundation just to kind of make sure it's set just setting under my eyes because I basically used it. I cheated and I used it as more of a concealer just to even out and tone my skin. But ladies, celebrate your age. Celebrate, find brands that really do support mature women and really formulate for mature women and really just show up bold, fierce, and unapologetic. That's what I have to say today. Go into this holiday season feeling gorgeous, feeling like you're making great decisions when it comes to products, their philosophy, who they support, who they show in their ads. And until my next video, I'll see you later.